You know what time it is. It's time to slay us. A spire. Man, I love that artwork. It's so good. We're on Ascension 7 already. Almost halfway there. About halfway there. What did we die to last time? Oh yeah, we died to warping straight to the boss. That's what killed us. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna card. Oh, actually, you know what I should do. Yeah, there we go. Upgrade a card, obtain a random common relic. Oh, upgrade a card! That's actually pretty decent. Yeah, I will take a free zap. Or a free... yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, I guess it's free. It's free mana cost-wise. A free zap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, Pet Pet Choi. How's it going? You missed the, uh, A Link to the Past race between me and Nick earlier today. It was splendid. And by splendid, I mean, like, I buried her, but... Eh. I, uh, mm, it, it was basically like my run, my Pepsi Man race against CJ, except in reverse. And also, we didn't keep playing long enough for me to actually lap her. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got one, one, two... Yeah, because we want to do a randomizer race. Uh, I have no bailout opportunities over there. Here I can get double events. Maybe skip this shop? Oh, no, if I go this way, I get twice as many fires. So either go up here and hit this shop, or... Yeah, yeah, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Okie dokie! One lone birdman. And a whole lot of defense. That's most of the defense in my deck. Cool. Three of them. Three quarters of them, in fact. Magnificent. It's everything I've wanted and more. One whole damage to my robo freight. To my robo face. Uh, rebound can be decent. Especially with the free zap, I'll take a rebound. Mm 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 mm. That free zap. Right on top. Cool. Alright, so he should be done like dinner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll take a boot sequence. Boot sequence is pretty decent. More often than not. Like right now. Boom. Boom. I have almost enough block. Well, that lightning's not gonna get through anything, which is fine. One more damage is not bad at all. Ooh, hey, a rebound kills you. And then you're actually dead. Cool. So far, so good. A very early electrodynamics. I think I'm going to have to say yes. How are we dealing with Gremlin Knob? Leaps... Good. Oh, capacitor. I do have a free zap and an electrodynamics. Do I take the leap or do I save my money? I think I take the leap because like boot sequence exhausts itself, whereas leap is. Ooh, ooh, ew, ugh, ugh. And then I leapt. Uh, hold up, just just play every card. Nice, nice. <sighs> okay. All right, no damage so far. Oh, I am weakened. I am weakened. Six plus four does not kill you. It only kills you and you, and you're the one attacking. So, hold up. How do I want to do this? I probably want to keep punching next turn. Probably. 
Yeah. Okay. We're taking, what, seven damage? I cannot rely on Electrodynamics to save me. However... Ooh... Uh, nine damage to all enemies. Kills everyone but you... Fuck. I cannot kill him unless that lightning orb hits him after a triple strike. Or wait. Yeah, no, he'll he'll be left at one health. So 13 damage, not great. Alright, cool. Not super, not super at all. I'm not gonna nap yet. Electrodynamics just channels another lightning. Upgrade the leap, I guess. Help prevent more damage. Okay, good. We got Lagavulin. Help prevent more damage and or save more mana. Okay, I wanna skip on that one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Electrodynamics. And I rebound Zap. Cool. Pretty good, pretty- ooh! This is gonna hurt. Oh, I probably should've drank that regen potion at the start of the fight. Um, I think the fight will last long enough that I actually might want a capacitor here. Although actually, spending the mana on it might not actually have been wise, because that could have been one more strike. Okay, thank god for the leap. Oh, no, I don't want to rebound the leap. Shit. I don't want to rebound the blocks either. I think I just block all the damage. Yeah, yeah. I kind of wanted to rebound the dual cast, but then I would have had to have taken a bunch of damage, and, you know, we don't want that to happen. Okay, that's a pretty good turn, and then he takes 12 damage. Alright, I think we've got this. So that'll do 16 plus 12 is 28. Yeah, he's dead. Very, very dead. <laughs> Smiling mask, okay. Auto shields or heat sinks. We do already have two powers. Going hard in the power, in the, you know, the power boat might not, might not be terrible. I only took, what, 15 damage? I should nap just to be safe. Because I still don't have great options against Lagavulin. Molten Egg! I only have 60 gold, so I'm going to straight up skip that shop. hi yay 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 Okay, we got a regen potion. Hey! I will take that heal. Cool, perfect. Okay, just a regular ass thiefy boy. Mm, you know, I probably shouldn't have taken heat sinks without like an energy relic or something. Now that I think about it, playing heat sinks into powers into a bunch of stuff is a lot harder to do if you don't have either energy relics or the mummified hand. Eh. Yeah, it's like, drawing cards almost doesn't do anything for me here. It's like, I can't play that Electrodynamics. Rip. He might get away. He's looking to get away. Okay. I might be able to kill him. It, it'll really come down to what I draw. So I need to do 17 damage. Hmm. I think I got it. Did I take damage? I think I took one. Oh, I get extra gold back from the stuff he stole thanks to Golden Idol. Sweeping beam up. Oh, they're all upgraded thanks to Molten Egg. I'll take the sweeping beam because we need a bit of AoE. Well, we've got the the multi lightning, but um, for Slime Tony up there. 
I am actually just gonna dual cast this just because I have a lot of lightning orb generation right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, since I don't have any other defensive cards anyway, I want to get that up because then, you know, that instead of doing three damage once, I'm doing nine damage thrice. So that's like, yeah, that's a nine times increase. It's a pretty big deal. Do I want to put a block on top? Oh, uh, with that kind of hand, actually, I might. Yeah, you know what? Here. Oh, no, actually, yeah, the sweeping beam. Yeah, never mind. Because who is it? It's you who's hitting me. Fuck. Well, that's not great. Well, I guess I'll just play all the fun stuff. Cool. Well, there's four damage I didn't need to take. Alright. Thanks, Lightning Horse. Bajra's reasonable. Wow. I do channel quite a few lightning orbs, and I do have a, um, a whatchamacallit, a capacitor. So yeah, I think I'll take that barrage. Okay, one more regular doable. Yeah, we're just gonna punch him regular type. Thanks, Vajra! Uh, hmm. Okay. He doesn't ramp up, so I'm just gonna play the capacitor now. Yikes. Rebound the zap. It does 14 damage. Hold up, can I kill him? Oh, I actually can. Perfect. I, uh, yeah. Give me that charge battery. We could use some more block stuff. Yeah, I'm starting to think that he heat sinks might have been a bad idea. I don't think I need to nap here. Between our... Yeah, with our regen potion, we should be fine. Okay, there's a capacitor upgrade. Or charge pat battery upgrade. I don't need boot sequence for this fight. Dual cast upgrades doesn't seem great because we kind of want more orbs because of barrage. I don't think I need the capacitor upgrade right now. I think charge battery is the better plan. Because this guy likes to hit us really hard. Okay, I'm going to drink this one now before I forget. Okay, so punch him. Barrage. Perfect. So I only need to get him down to 70 before he splits Bill. Uh, the heat sinks is not like super duper right now, but or not the heat sinks, the electrodynamics. <sighs> yeah, heat sinks basically doesn't do anything for me yet. Do I punch or do I capacitor? Uh, we could be drawing a lot of different things next turn. Rebound Strike, Sweeping Beam. No, that doesn't work. It would have to be Rebound Zap, Sweeping Beam. And then a third card. Good news we got, like, all our block except for Leap. I mean, we could just get, like, these four cards and a Defend, and then, well, I guess Sweeping Beam will draw us another Defend guaranteed at that point. Uh -huh. So he's taking another 18, guaranteed. Which puts him down to, what, 82? Which means I'd have to do at least 12 more damage, which is actually rather doable. Okay, yeah. In that case, I'm going to punch him. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, slime crush. Okay, since I need to spend the extra, since I may as well spend three energy anyway, I'm actually going to put charge battery on top for next turn, because the dude in the back almost always hits for uh, 18. And then I get to keep pushing the energy forward a couple of turns. Okay, sweeping beam for obvious reasons, so these dudes will split at 
Either 30 or 29. I think it's 29. So he's only doing 12. Dual cast will put him at what? I'll put him at 36. And then another 9 will actually split him. Yeah. Oh, it won't be 9, it'll be 6. Oh, and 33. Uh, that'll still split him. In fact, it'll split both of them. Okay. Well, uh, we managed to avoid getting frailed, at least. Uh, Ooh, hey, boot sequence. Gimme, gimme. Wow, I really only have two orbs. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, we want to rebound that, uh... That barrage. The barrage is doing 14. So 14 plus 6 is 20, so I've got 29 damage right here. Like, it's more efficient not to focus it all on one dude, since they're gonna take the lightning. Actually... Is there a way... No. No, because it's only taking... Yeah, that won't work. Alright, well, I, I, I want to do it this way because it prevents damage. Get rid of the slime. Were we taking damage? Yeah, we would have taken 4 damage if we didn't kill him. Okay. So overall, that's still the best way. Obviously do that. So that's 21 more damage right here. Then we've got 9 more damage incoming, so they're both just toast. Nice. That was a very, very clean Slime Tony fight. Machine learning's pretty good. Mmm, yeah. 32 damage to all enemies, lose 3 focus, Jesus. I don't think so, I'm gonna take the machine- wow. Wow, uh, who? I'm gonna take the Philo Stone and see how we do. We got a Vajra, we got a Molten Egg. Our defenses are reasonable. We've got some card draw, we've got AoE. It's like we got a bit of everything. Our deck does not do like any particular thing super nutso yet. But we don't have any big crazy weaknesses yet. Two, one, three, but then I'm strapped in. I don't think I want to be. Yeah, I don't think I can take four dudes. It's unlikely that I'm capable of such a dude taking. I can bail on that guy this way. Get an extra fire. I can bail on that guy. Okay, we have sh I think I want to skip the first shop? Wait until I got a bit more money, which shouldn't be hard with Golden Idol. I think I'd rather hit these events. And then, like, go up this way, see what we get. Although... Doing fights means we get cards, and cards are good. I'm actually going to rebound to the zap. Oh, actually, whatever. Oh well, too late now. Could have rebounded the barrage, I guess. Okay, so then he's gonna frail us, which is not going to be the greatest thing in the world. He sure is hitting harder than he used to. These guys got tougher, right? Not. Why is he suddenly suddenly hitting for 26? He always used to hit for 22. Oh, uh, philosopher stone. Right, right. The stone. Can I possibly kill him? Uh, that'll get me. That's 16 damage. Plus nine, and then that'll be another 13 damage. Or no, it'll be 16 damage plus 6. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter which way I math it. Okay, so... 16 plus 9 is 25. Plus 13 is 38. I think I got him. Yep. I should have heat sinks first, just in case I didn't have him. That way I could have drawn into something. I think Molten Egg might be the least worthwhile egg for... Yeah, I probably just don't know how to use it. Grab a stack, I guess. Recursion would be nice. Ooh! But I'd like to upgrade it, is what I was about to say. 
Machine learning being innate would be pretty cool, especially when we're on four mana. And we have boot sequence in hand. Yeah. I think that'll do more than upgrading stack. Okay, so we sweep here. Perfect. Nothing else to do, so let's just let him do his thing. Does he multi-attack at all? I don't remember. Um, only 10 block. Mm, okay. We don't have any healing in deck yet. Uh, we don't have Eternal Feather, we don't have Regal Pillow, we don't have any sustain up here. 21. Um, hold up. I can play three more cards before this, so I can get 13 block. Here we go, let's just fill up on block. There we go. Those days are gonna be pain- oh yeah. Oh yeah. Charge battery, that's pretty good. At 52, I think dual cast is worth it. I'm going to- Yeah! Thanks, Vajra! Yeah, drink one of the- oh my fucking god. Are you joking? Well... I actually can fit all these cards in my hand. Uh... Yeah, do the electrodynamics. Oh, and it drew me a card and put a daze in the thing. Uh, I cannot drink this attack potion, it won't actually do anything. The good news is we got rid of all the dazes in the deck. This is gonna hurt. Yikes. Yikes a mundo. Alright. Well, I probably used more potions than I needed to. A cold snap would not be unwelcome. It helps rotate orbs. And it's free block. Toolbox, that could be handy. Who 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 these do not come auto-upgraded like last time. I don't have any good healing. You know what, I think I'm actually gonna refuse here. <sighs> Had I gone for it, I might have been able to go... I don't know. I don't know. Anything that really needs an upgrade? Not desperately, no. I'm gonna nap. And hope to hit more dudes. Okay, stab hand- ooh, panache. Panache into heat sinks or heat sinks into panache? Uh, okay, uh, panache first, then heat sinks. Machine learning. Uh, what is he doing? Like 18 damage? Boom. Thanks, panache. I was like, do I regen potion here? Am I gonna take enough damage? The answer is probably, but I'm not doing it anyway because I'm a fool. Oh, that extra two, ooh, is gonna hurt. It's uh, gonna hurt real bad. Yeah, I'm gonna drink this. Hmm, yep. Ah, nice, rip capacitor. I actually kind of wanted that one for this fight. Oh, hey, look at that. Hold up. No, 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 no. Rebound, cold snap, sweeping beam, cold snap. Zap. Okay, uh... We got a little bit of block, at least. Not... This is not great. Hold up, what is this? Seven, it's like 35 damage. That's good enough for me! And he's taking another nine. That's 14 plus nine. That's 23. Perfect. Whoo! That was rough. Gremlin Horn's pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, Steam Barrier. Uh, I nap again. 51 health for an elite? 
We're up against the champ, too. Mm. Don't expect Kuna. Ooh, wow. 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 Okay. Okay. Ooh, oh, this is probably one of the, the best ones we could have gotten. Um, machine learning first. Oh, shit. Whoops, 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 whoops. Thank you, Oshia Dragon. I forgot to change all that baloney. Uh, what are we on? Uh, climbing with defect. We're on Ascension 7. I... Did that just happen, or was I muted the whole time? Well, no, no, no. Pet Petroy was responding to me. I guess I must have accidentally hit my mute key. <laughs> Thank you, Oshia Dragon. I don't know what I'd do without people telling me what the fuck is happening around me. Ooh, okay, this is a complex turd. We obviously have to kill the hammer turd. <sighs> 36 damage is more than I would like to take. Basically, ever. Ah, no, I, I guess I- Oh, I know, because I put the- Uh, my mute key is the close bracket. Like, the square one, and I changed the title to, like, Defect Ascension plus 7 in square brackets. Hold up, it showed I changed the title, but then it unchanged. Yeah, Climbing with Defect Ascension 7. There we go. 7 plus. Okay! Yeah, yeah, that that, that would have been why. It's because it's the, the closed bracket is, is my mute button. Um, so what am I rebounding is the first question. I have no card draw in hand, so like rebounding one of the block cards doesn't help. How am I spending my energy? One there, one there, one there. Oh, <laughs> I'm actually playing everything in my hand. Okay, so what gets rebounded? So I've got three energy worth of stuff I might want to play next turn. I might not need the leap. Depending on what this guy does. So I probably want a zero cost. Steam Barrier gets worse every time you play it, and I like this will Steam Barrier for seven, and I already have a leap there, so I probably don't need that. So it's either Cold Snap or Zap. Shit, there's no way to do eleven damage to you, is there? So that the lightning bolt kills you. I don't, oh, I don't have Electrodynamics up anyway, so the Lightning Bolt is not guaranteed to kill him anyway. Um, okay, so... What's the most efficient? It would be Rebound and Strike on him. Okay, then we Rebound. Oh, right! Hmm. Shit. Ah, crap. I forgot about Gremlin Horn, that actually matters, because if I put something else on top, I could have drawn into it. <laughs> Watching it playing Pokemon Go? Nice. Uh, this man just keeps getting stronger. Good news is I have the mana and the cards to play Leap now. 
Okay, that actually helps getting that kunai. Okay. This is still gonna hurt, but I got some decent damage off. Okay, Electrodynamics is a super important card for us. For, I think, obvious reasons, because now the lightning hits every little idiot. Uh, yeah, I'll barrage the shit out of you. He's not attacking me at all. Cold snap so that I'm keeping the same orbs or rotating the same orbs, if you know what I mean. Um. Um. Ooh, yeah, put barrage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are good cards in the deck. Put all of them back in the deck. Boom. More zappage. Okay. And I got more kunai. Nice, nice, nice. Except Jay, he doesn't have go. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. Okay, I think we've mostly got this. What is that? That's 30, that's like 48 damage. That's a lot of nuts. All right, another 12 damage. A little rough, but manageable. Okay, so cold snap, sweeping beam. And he's toast. The race went pretty well. A second barrage I think I shall take. More damage to the face I would like to make. Ooh, this is not a great shop. Fuck, I should have taken the white beast statue and then grabbed the toy ornithopter. There's a bajillion sustain. Rip. Rip. Jay's probably laughing right now. Saying I should have taken that white bee statue. Um, we're up against Champo. Probably gonna want this regen potion. Energy potion is pretty good with both machine learning and rebound and gremlin horn. Well, not against Champ. But and uh, heat sinks. I have no way of holding on to cards or anything, so I can't dark shackles on the right turns. I could grab Melter. He does like to block sometimes. Doom and Gloom? Ugh. Mercury Hourglass lets us be a bit more defensive. Generate a decent amount of lightning. I can start pulling the strikes out, I think. Yeah, grab me the hourglass. Pull out a strike. Not gonna buy the doom and gloom. Okay. Who? Okay, I already healed 25 thanks to Pantograph. So I think I can rest here and fight this guy. I think we should be good. Go for Melter? Uh, it's too late now. It's too late now. Thinking ahead, interesting. Okay, so I'm already blocking, so boom, I'm blocking everything now. Um, actually, yeah, I will thinking ahead here. Choose a card, put it on top of your draw pile. Um, so defend, I guess. Don't really need it. And just start punching the man. Melzer is useful for shieldy fuckers. It is. It is. Okay. How can I wing this? Heat sinks, rebound, steam barrier, electrodynamic steam barrier. Rip barrage. Mmm. No. Steam Barrier, Electrodynamics, Rebound, Barrage. <sighs> yeah. There we go. So now we have Barrage next turn as well. Nice. 
Nice, 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 nice. 26 damage. Okay, I can deal with most of that. 22, 20. Um, should I be safe? Should I sweepy beam? I'll be safe. Cool. I might still nap. There's our other barrage. Is he dead? Yes. Fantastic. And then we'll block times a billion. Thanks, stack. Okay, look at the cards first. I'll take another charge battery. War paint! Rip. Those are like two of the worst. Those are both just plus three block. Well, charge battery is also just plus three block, I guess. Yeah, now almost all- yeah. In fact, all of our block cards only upgrade for plus three block. Okay. Harley requests a game explanation. So this is a roguelike deck drafting game wherein we start the game with a basic deck. Uh, in this case consisting of- there's three different characters, so your starting deck and the cards available to you are, are all different. Um, you know what, actually, since we're on the map- Nope. Hold up. Where can I save quit? Let me- let me just save and quit right here so I can actually go out and go into the codex and show you. Or the compendium. Here we go. So yeah, these are the- the different characters. Uh, card pools and they start with like different amounts of health and stuff like that so like the defect who is where we we're playing he starts with four strikes four defends a dual cast and a zap and that's his whole deck um, every turn you draw five cards and you're basically trying to defeat the enemies in front of you any damage you take in a fight stays with you as you uh, climb the floors so you want to take as little damage as possible you can see what an enemy is doing by the symbol that appears above their head they'll either be attacking blocking, buffing, debuffing, or some other mysterious unique action. And with that you can kind of plan out your turns. Um, so you get offered one of three cards every time you defeat uh, a floor with enemies on it. Um, and they come in different rarities, like it shows if it's got a gray banner like that, that's just uh, common. And then you see the blue banner up top by where the name is, that's uncommon. And then the gold is rares. I don't know the exact distribution. Um, whenever you beat a boss, you automatically get your choice of three rare cards and you get a boss specific relic. So relics are a different thing. So they're all of these. So like we start with a, each of the characters starts with a specific relic. I start with the crack core. That's why I start each fight with that one lightning ball. The Defect also has his own unique mo mechanic in the, the orbs. Um, and then like these are all just like other- they, they all just do like a bunch of random things. Bag of Preparation, I start each combat with two additional cards. Bag of Marbles, at the start of each combat apply one vulnerable to all enemies, etc, etc, etc. They do various things. That's one, every tenth attack deals double damage. Sort of thing. And you know, they get rarer and better, and yeah, these are the boss specific relics. You get offered three of these and you get to pick one of them. And they're usually pretty powerful, but they can come with some hefty downsides. And then these are ones that only come from specific events. So besides fighting monsters and bosses, the other thing is if you go to the map, it'll actually show you this symbol denotes which boss you're fighting. And there's three acts. We're on the second act right now, which is generally the hardest. So this is the champ. He, he He's about the hardest act two boss. And you can see, like, these are all the different relics we have so far. There's also potions. There's, like, about a dozen or so different ones of those. They do different things. So this one I regen. This one poisons. So poison deals damage equal to the amount of poison applied per turn. And then reduces it by one. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Harley. So, like, if you apply six poison, the first turn they're poisoned, they'll take six damage. And then the poison ticks down to five. Then they'll take five damage, four damage, three damage, etc., etc. So generally, poison is better the more poison you have. It gets better and better and better. Testing on my shitty phone? Well, test away. Uh, and like, there are shops that you can use to buy cards and relics and potions and things like that. You can upgrade cards. Uh, like, you'll notice if it's got a green, green letters and a plus, it's been upgraded. So like, I can look at the capacitor. This isn't upgraded. I can two orb slots, or I can... Oh, oh, see what it's like when it's upgraded. Three orb slots. There are also three basic card types, attacks, skills, and powers. 
Attacks just deal damage and then potentially have other effects attached. Skills, almost every card that'll give you block will be a skill, but skills can do a bunch of other baloney as well. And then powers are basically like passive buffs that once you play them, stay with you for the rest of the fight. So like heat sinks, whenever you play a power card, draw one card. That's, that is a power, as soon as I play it, it's out of the deck. Um, and I just have that passive buff for that whole fight. Same with machine learning. You know, draw an extra card. Electrodynamics. Anyway, um, hold up. What's 22 plus 25? That's 47. How much health are we missing? We're missing 39, so I'd waste 8 health napping. But the champ is rough as butts. What would I upgrade? What would be a solid up? Capacitor would actually be a pretty decent upgrade here. Just because it lets me hold more orbs. It makes our barrage stronger. What I really need is a glacier. I'm going to... Eh, should I be greedy? Nap time. The problem is we have to draw it and then we have to play it on a turn where, you know, we're not gonna get shit kicked. Yeah. I will take the nap. It's very seldom you need more than five orb slots anyway. An Apotheosis turn one. Interesting. Well, since... Yeah. I don't have much else to do with my mana this turn. Uh, I mean... Rip Heat Sinks and Machine Learning. I'm just gonna throw this at him now. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have napped. I've got the regen potion. Ah, yeah, whatever. Just Apotheosis. Um, oh, I've actually got ten extra block thanks to the Anchor. Hmm. Alright. All right, just play it so it's there. Now, I don't take any damage. I got all the powers played that were in my hand. Oh, hey! Look at that. I didn't even need to upgrade Capacitor. It just comes upgraded thanks to Apotheosis. Perfect. Um. Well, I actually don't need to spend all my mana. Rip. I actually probably shouldn't have done that, since this fight is actually going to last more than five turns. The other thing about poison is it goes through block. Like, if if they have block, it doesn't matter. It'll still do four damage to their actual health. Both my barrages. A Yeah. Well, I could charge battery. Yeah, you know what? We'll go half measures. Because at the very least, the barrage got through his block so that the lightning could deal damage. Okay, two damage is not bad here. The vulnerable and the frail is... This is not a great hand. I'm going to rebound the charge battery. Oh, maybe? No, I should have rebounded. Nah, I probably shouldn't have rebounded stack. No, poison is not necessarily best. The problem with poison is it's slow. It either takes, unless, you, unless your deck is completely nuts, it either takes a lot of turns to build up enough poison to to point where it's killing them quickly, or you're just not going to build up the poison that fast, Then, because like every turn you're fighting them is one more turn, where you have to scrounge up, I got both of them on the same turn again, where you have to scrounge up enough block to not get the shit kicked out of you. And besides that, the Silent, which is the second character, is the only person who has uh, poison cards. Uh, Ironclad and Defect, all they have is that poison potion, so it's really not great. It's just 21 damage over the course of the fight. Um, I certainly need to block this man. Uh, I may as well play both charge. Oh, hey, I get to play all my stuff. Cool. Punch, 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 punch. See, as soon as he gets under half health, he puts a, a huge buff on himself and starts going completely ape shit. Uh, he's already buffing again. He, it might, it's either gonna be metallicized or another strength buff. Or, I say another, that, that buff is from the Philo Stone. I don't want him to put another uh, strength buff on himself because that on top of the like 12 strength he gains when he does his big buff. Oh, it means his execute tu turns would be doing a lot of damage. I just, I just don't want that. 
Alright, I'm gonna try to get him down as low as possible. Kunai proc'd once. Super. Okay, 179 before his big buff. Because he was already bu Yeah, there's the big buff. I don't have any debuffs. I, I don't have any. And I also don't have any outlandishly crazy... Uh, block generation. I don't have focus, which is a stat that increases how much... The numbers on all my orbs, so how much block I block from frost orbs, how much damage I deal with lightning orbs. Um, yeah. And we drew most of our good block cards right now. So... This is gonna hurt, and we're vulnerable for three turns. So he's probably gonna execute here. Yep. So what is that? It's, uh... 81 damage, which you'll notice is greater than our maximum health. I might be fucked. Now, if you've been paying attention, you may notice there's no block in this hand. There's no block. No block. There's no block in this hand. So, uh... So, uh... Yeah, we dead. And that's why the champ is uh is the hardest dude, because sometimes he can just if you draw a bad hand on the wrong turn, you're just yeah, these are the three characters. I've already gotten all the way to Ascension. Oh yeah, I'm also playing so that you can play on the normal mode, which is like for babies, and actually really easy. Um, once you do that, you unlock each tier of ascension, and each tier of ascension increases, adds an additional modifier to increase the difficulty. So those are all seven of the modifiers that I have right now. Elites spawn more often. No oh yeah, right. Uh, they're elite monsters, which are these big ones with horns. Uh, they have a higher chance of dropping rare cards, and they'll also give you a random relic, guaranteed, but they're also much tougher. Um, so like elites spawn more often. Normal enemies are deadlier. It means they do more damage. Elites, bosses, yeah, more damage. Heal less after boss battles. Um, in regular runs, you full heal after a boss fight. Now we only heal, I think, 70% of missing HP. Start each run damaged, just straight up. And then normal enemies are tougher, meaning they have more health. And then you can go higher levels of ascension. Okay, so now this big this big whale is apparently like what keeps bringing us back to life, and like letting us fight on forever and ever. If you at least make it to a boss in your previous run, she'll give you some random options uh, for like blessings to start the run with. You always have this one, where you lose your starting relic to obtain a random boss relic. Uh, like it's risky because you can get real trash, and the the lightning core is decent. This is actually my favorite one. Be um, if you're lucky on the map, well, if you if you're not unlucky, you can get a fight with an elite at one health. It says the enemies in your next three combats. So if you can get to an elite only fighting two combats, then boom, it's just a free elite fight. I'm not gonna take the gamble. I have a way better option. Um, and if you're super lucky, you can actually get two. So the thing with these question mark tiles is they have a chance of being a fight. Each question mark you tile, each uh, event tile that you go to that isn't a fight has an, a 10% higher chance of being a fight than the last one. So like, that will have a 10% chance of being a fight. If that's not a fight, that'll have a 20, then a 30, then a 40. So I could actually, you know, if I have no fights on any of these question mark blocks, I could actually get two free relics. I'm pretty likely to get at least one, because the first floor is always the first floor in each act is always a fight. So I have to do one fight, and then I'm gonna hit this shop because it does not increase the event counter. Um, and then I just like go up here. Yeah, I've got a decent chance. Is there any other path mm, that gets me to no? But yeah, we're gonna go for it because we still have a pretty good chance of getting one, and that path's reasonable. See, he's just got like one health. Easy peasy. A very early genetic algorithm. So this is an interesting card. Exhaust means it's removed for the rest of combat. You only get to play it once. But every time I play it, it increases the block um, 
on it by two for the rest of the run. So even in future fights. So like, getting that as a first card offer is quite reasonable. I will take the 75 gold for the damage since our next... Ooh, okay, whetstone's not great since all of our attacks are strikes. I would like the defragment. I, the glacier's like a super important card, but I'm gonna take the bag of prep. Because I'll have more. Um, if you're not playing on endless mode, which is currently only in the beta branch, um, as soon as you see a relic in a shop, that means it will not appear for the rest of the run. So that was our only- we'll get more chances to get defrag and glacier. There is a sunder for sale. I will grab that one. That- now that's uh... Nope, I'll just take the regular hundred gold. Whoa, that was an event! We got a chest- uh, it's not a great relic, but... Um... Okay. Ooh, this is a tough question. Upgrading Sunder helps us kill things in one hit. See, there, there, there are like two ways to go about doing really well at this game. Either make a bajillion block and then have... Because some, some enemies actually keep ramping up, like they keep getting stronger, so you can't just sit around and block forever, because they'll eventually have to scale you. So you have to, you have to have a way of finishing a fight rel like in a decent amount of time, but it's like, you either, like, turtle up really hard, and then just do, like, decent damage, or you do so much damage so fast that you don't even need to block, because they're just dead. I'm gonna do the genetic algorithm, because I'm not gonna need that upgraded Sunder for at least one elite fight, if not two. And then, you know, by the time we're here, I'll have another opportunity to, uh... I might go for that fight just to get another card opportunity, especially if there's stuff I want in this shop. Okay, Gremlin Knob's my least favorite dude in Act 1. Done. Gave me the Gremlin Horn. Gremlin Horn, whenever you kill an enemy, gain one energy, draw one card. So in any fight where there's more than one dude, it's pretty good. Um... <sighs> I don't know that I like any of these. Sweeping Beam's reasonable. Draws us a card, sure. Here we go this way. Another other merchant. There's not- no, I've got enough gold now that, like, if- Like, I'll kill this guy, and then go here, and then kill this guy. Elites also give you more gold than regular enemies. So if I don't buy anything in these two shops, I have a decent chance of having enough for a relic there. Um, and relics are generally more valuable than cards, at least for, like, defect and silent. Ironclad's got some busted cards, so he can... Alright, so now we've got the double. We've got the double bubble. Question card? Getting the question card plus the prayer wheel is really good. I always believed in most hit-for-hit -hit games that the best defense was a good offense. Then Dragon Quest Eight happened! Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dragon Quest Eight will kick the shit out of you. Alright. Hey, look at this sweeping beam. Everybody die. Molten egg. So there are three different egg relics in the game. Uh, one for each card type. So this says whenever you add an attack to your deck, it is upgraded. As in, it comes pre-upgraded. Um, uh, every card in the game except one only gets one upgrade. There's a, an ironclad card called Sundering Blow. That you can upgrade it as many times as you want. And each upgrade actually adds more damage than the last. So you want to, like, upgrade the shit out of it. Yeah, ooh. I was gonna go for that machine learning, but charge battery's not bad. It's a common, it's a common. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, rip mummified hand. Who are we fighting? Hexaghost. Hexaghost sometimes blocks, but not for a lot. And this Doom and Gloom is on sale, and Darkness Orbs are... Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know, that's the bottom of the egg. Okay, upgrade the Sunder now. Have I even... Shit, I could have played a genetic algorithm one time and I didn't. Because I just ended the fight instantly. Rip. Wow, two Gremlin knobs. And one of them I have to actually fight. 
That sucks. So this dude's deal, he puts a buff on himself that every time you play a skill, he gains two strength. And well, cards that block are skills. So it's just like, hmm, block five damage now, and take two damage every hit for the rest of the fight. So it's like, you, got, you have to go through the first couple turns literally not blocking. Also, uh, like all the cards that manipulate my orbs in the early game are skills. Or that manipulate my orbs, yeah. Um, I did grab the- I grabbed the Doom and Gloom, right? I think I did. I would love to genetic algorithm and make it stronger, but... Yeah, we just sunder here. Let the lightning orb do its business. Draw into another sunder. Draw, 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 draw. Yeah, die. Okay, we only- we didn't- ooh, start each combo with one focus. We didn't have to take that much damage there. Echo form! Echo form! Oh, another charge battery. Oh, echo form so good. I can afford the strain spoon. I, ooh. Double sunder? Double sunday? No thanks. Uh, we do start with one focus, which makes orbs better. Although we don't have a lot of orb generation. All we have is our starter zap. Rip Kunai, Rip Pantograph. Damn it, I probably shouldn't have bought Doom and Gloom. Wow, I'm f then I could have grabbed the Pantograph. That would have been nice. Um, hmm. I can just remove a card and carry on. I don't think I want capacitor. Not yet. Um, we got some good attacks now, so I think I'm going to get rid of El Strico. So Hexaghost's first big attack actually does more damage to you the more health you have, so I'm going to not nap here. Do I upgrade Echo Form to make sure- no. No, I need to generate some orbs. Upgrade that Zap. If Echo Form, if we don't get to play it, we don't get to play it. We get to play it. Sorry, Sunder. Echo Form. Echo Form is an insane card. It makes the first card you play each turn doubled. So this is going to gain us two block, I'm sure. Ugh. Fine, double the block. Defragment. Block again. Do I really play this just for one block? No. I am machine learning. I I'll see it again. I'll play it later. I keep saying. I haven't played it once, which is kinda bad. Oh, right. Double. Shit. I should have double Doom and Gloomed. Rip a Rooney Dooney. Well, we'll get a single Doom and Gloom. Still does pretty decent damage. And besides, we got, what, two focus? Okay. Now, did that actually increase it twice? Oh, it doesn't say. Hmm. I wonder. I don't think it works that way for Rampage. It did give me two block. To its credit. So, Dark Orbs, they charge up. And then as soon as you rotate them out, so each orb does something while it's passive, and it does something else while you rotate it. Usually a bigger version of what it did while it was just hanging out. So like the lightning orbs, and as soon as you gain an orb, it goes in the leftmost slot and the rest kind of rotate. It's like lightning orbs deal 5, or when they rotate deal 10. The dark orbs right now, they're like gaining 8 damage a turn, and then as soon as I rotate it, it dumps all its extra damage. So like in the long run, Dark Orb is the best offensive, and it'll automatically do it to the target with the least health, so you want to be careful about that. Because if you're sitting on like a 48 damage Dark Orb, you don't want it to hit a dude with like 12 health. Unless he's like the last dude, I guess. Double Sunday! Double Sunday. Uh, but he's attacking me. And now we're full of darkness. Oh, and uh, yeah, dual cast works really good on these dark orbs because they're just like, mmm, 44 damage. Delicious. Especially if you have echo form dual cast, it'll actually trigger the first orb and then they'll rotate and then the second orb. 
He's not hitting me at all. Oh, right. Eh, whatever. That works, I guess. Um, I'm going to defend... Okay, so there are also status cards. Uh, this guy puts burns in our deck. So not only is it a card that does nothing, eating up a slot in our hand, but at the end of turn, it also deals two damage to us. I'm gonna play that because it's free. Okay. So, like, we got 44 damage just sitting here. And then it's gonna become 60 damage. Then it's gonna become 76 damage, etc., etc. Uh... Yeah, like I said, I knew he blocked on a couple turns. He actually has a set pattern, you'll notice, like, as his flames ignite. Once he gets all six flames lit, he's gonna do his big attack again. But he has, like, an actual exact set pattern. Um... Let's block it all, I guess. Sweeping Beam wouldn't have done anything. We wouldn't have gotten any damage in any way. Double Sunday... Double dual cast, I think, kills him. Yep. Yep. He did. Meteor Strike is an interesting card. Notice how it costs five, which is more mana than we normally start with, but... Uh, there are orbs that give you energy. I passed up on one earlier. It was a card called Fusion. And so long as you have that orb, it'll give you uh, one energy per turn. Or as soon as you rotate it, it'll give you two energy for that turn. And yeah, the plasma orbs are the energy gain orbs. So like, if you if you get up to five energy, all you need is like one energy relic and one plasma, and then you just like meteor strike. It immediately rotates all three of your orbs, and then you're generating a bunch of energy. So, I've seen runs. I've seen runs where somebody gets like three meteor strikes, and it's just like you're just like launching them because playing one meteor strike when you already have three plasma gives you six energy <laughs> just by itself. Multicast with your double first spell? Yes, that's true. Uh, yeah, yeah. Multicast is only really great if you're channeling dark orbs. It can be, it can be decent otherwise, but with dark it's, like, obnoxious. And we got some dark, so... I will take the Sozu, because... So this stop, we can no longer obtain potions. Anytime we are offered a potion, it just gets eaten by the Sozu. But, we also gain an extra energy every turn, which is more important. So, I like this string of events here. Although we did like five events in a row without a fight, so one of these will almost certainly be a fight. And then if we go this way, one of those will almost certainly be a fight as well by that time. Depending on when the fight happens in this chain, I guess. Um, okay, so our deck... Man, we're gonna get wrecked by the fucking... the slavers. I... I don't have Beam Cell. Beam Cell plus Sunder is pretty good against the Bat guy. All our AoE is just Doom and Gloom. I don't have Crazy Outrageous Block Generation. So I'm actually not too keen on fighting Elites. And each act is different, like there are specific monsters and specific Elites that'll f spawn like, each act has three different elite fights, and you can never fight the same elite twice in a row within the same act. That's why I was surprised we got Gremlin Knob twice. Like, you, you, you can't, because we got Gremlin Knob, then Sentries, then Gremlin Knob, which can happen. But you can't get Knob into Knob, or Sentries into Sentries. Um, like, Slavers is the worst fight. Stab hand is pretty bad. I think we're doing good against Gremlin Leader because Sunder, Sunder, Dark Orb, Sweeping Beam are pretty good against Gremlin Leader. So I've got some money, so I could go to the shop, go to the nap hole, go up this way, and see how we're feeling. Or I guess see how we're feeling here. I'm gonna go here. Ah, fuck it. Let's let's just rock and roll. So this idiot gains 14 block every turn, except every every time he takes attack damage to his actual health, that number goes down by one. Um. Oh, it did work twice. Wow. It's actually my. Ah, uh, do I take five damage? Yeah. Echo form. 
Take five. We do have a vulnerability potion, which might actually help against the slaver fight. Play that one, cause oh wait 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 wait. Whatever I play gets played twice. Let's play this one. That's my only block card. I think I want to dual cast that one and then zap. Because if I zapped first, it would have rotated, and then I would have dual cast this, and that only would have dealt like 12 damage. Whereas dual casting. Or no, it would have done 24 damage. Eh. So if I channel this sucker four, four times, what's that? It's like 52 damage? He's dead? He dead. Oh! Never mind. It would. It would channel that one four times, and then the next one four times. Yeah, see? Goodbye, attack potion. Hey, that was a card I was just talking about. I do need better block, though. I haven't picked up a block card since genetic... I've picked up one block card! I would like Beam Cell, but I have to take stack here. Because if we make our deck too... Ooh, if I take this book, I'm not fighting that elite. Alright, this is like 18 damage. Ow, ow, ow. Misclicked and didn't take the book. Just took 9 damage for funsies. No biggie. No problem. What's wrong? I'm gonna take that, just so I can bail out on the shop. We've got the, the mask, so I can remove that uh, regret for 50 gold. <sighs> I didn't even see what book it was. There are three different books you can get from that event. One of them, the Necronomicon. <laughs> Thanks, Oshia Dragon. The... Did... did J nerdling tell you to type that? Or have you picked it up via osmosis? Uh, the Necronomicon, it puts a curse in your deck and makes it that the first time each turn that you play an attack that costs two or more, that attack is played twice. I don't know how that interacts with Echo Form. It might get played three times, it might get played four times? No, I think it would be three, because the second copy from Echo Form would count as the second time playing it. Yeah, so I think it would be three times. Um, there's the Nilri's Codex, which at the end of each turn you're given one of three cards, and you can choose to add one of them to your deck. Um, every turn of every fight, that can be pretty good. And then Enchiridion, which does something with powers. I never remember, because I'm not sure I've ever gotten it. He's hitting me for 21 damage. I have no boot sequence. I have no anchor. Anchor, wherefore art thou? Aha! Bitch, double genetic algorithm. Um, I'm actually... Rip. Well, I guess I won't take one damage. So he puts a debuff on us that every time we play a non-attack card, he puts a daze in our deck. A daze does nothing, and ethereal means if you don't play it, it uh, exhausts itself. So we just draw it, and then it just evaporates. But it's still annoying as fuck. Especially since... Oh, I double machine learning. Especially since he puts them in the deck, which means as you get low on cards, um, you know, your next hand... Like, this is my next hand. It's gonna suck, because he's probably gonna hit us really hard. Uh... Yeah. Ah, I doubled machine learning. Uh... Give me that double defense, honestly. And defend again, and then zap, and stack. Okay, that actually wasn't terrible. Regret is pretty bad with these dazes. We deal one damage for each card in our hand, so... And it actually goes through block, so we actually take three because of those dazes. Um, he is hitting me really hard in my face. Fuck, I'm weakened. Damn it. That would have been lethal. Is it still lethal? 48 plus 8. No. If I... Uh, what's 9 times 8? That's, that is lethal. <laughs> cool. Thanks, multicast. Thanks, Echo Form. Steam Barrier's not bad. That's a source of frost. Go for the Eyes is kind of like having block. I can also double it. Weak makes enemies deal 25% less damage. I'm gonna take the Go for the Eyes. Okay, we got a bunch of money. 
Choose a skill and a start. Mm. I don't think we're attacking often enough. Should I immediately bail and start running zero cost attacks and a bunch of card draw and shuriken? Because I don't see how else we survive. I don't see how else we, we finish fights. We've got four energy. We've got machine learning for card draw. We've got echo form, which will help proc shuriken. Yeah, you know what? So I take the dramatic entrance. <laughs> Having fun, Harley. Are you doing are you doing Jay Nerdling's work for him? I'm gonna take the Vajra. I don't want too many attack. Like the zero cost attacks are great. I'm gonna remove the regular strike. Alright, let's see if this was a good plan or not. We'll find out real soon. Uh, yeah, I want to go this way. Yeah, I haven't fought an elite yet, and I should probably... I will actually lose all of my gold here. I don't feel like fighting these guys, and I don't care to take the red mask, and I only have 11 gold, so fuck them. Oh, yeah. I did forget to remove that curse. Thanks, Divine Fountain. Really saved my ass. What do we got? Yeah, not super. <laughs> lucky, yeah, exactly. Lucky that... It's only lucky because I was an idiot. <laughs> I saw another claw earlier and I could have taken it. Ooh, how are we spending our mana here? Hold up. I'm gonna throw this at this idiot, because he's gotta die. I think I have to machine learning. And sweeping beam. Rip. Thanks, shuriken. And now we take a shit kicking. Mm mm mm. Delicious. Okay, genetic algorithm's pretty decent here. Look at this app because it's free. Fa oh, he actually died. Cool. Uh, yeah, go for your eyes. Okay. Well, that was pretty rough, but it was all front-loaded roughness, so, uh, I have to heal first. Gross. Oh, he's dead. He's, like, really dead. Ooh, hold up. Let me look at the cards first. Give me a leap. Yeah. That's dangerous to take without, uh, boot sequence and or, um, anchor. If I had boot sequence and anchor, then it was, like, automatically, automatically echo form. Because I could get up to 20 block for zero mana, and then spend three on the e echo form. At 45 health, I don't feel comfortable taking that elite. So, oh, plant man, plant man, plant man. Okay, good, he's not hitting me. So we can echo form, and then we can machine learning, and then we pass the turn. He's gonna, what, frail us? You know, frail and we can... So this guy, every time you hit him, he gains one more block than last time you hit him. Uh, that's only if you deal damage to his actual health. It's so, like he'll gain three block, then four block, and if you do a multi-hit attack, it'll stack all of those blocks up afterwards. So say say I had like five orbs and a barrage, and I hit him five times. He'd take all the damage, and then gain three block, plus four block, plus five block, plus six block, plus seven block. <laughs> yeah, Melter is pretty good here. Uh, so is Sunder. Oh, we've got Echo Form. We've got Echo Form. Echo form. Yeah, smash that bitch. And then we leap into the skies, taking damage. Well, he's almost dead, so good for us. Uh, I think. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no, no, no. That won't work. Cause it'll play it twice. The first time gets rid of the first orb. The second time there are no orbs. So, I'll just, like, do that. I think he's dead. Yeah, he, he was dead regardless. Whatever. Who needs math? Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, another claw. Another claw. So, claw is an attack that, every time you play it, every claw in your deck deals two 
additional damage for the rest of the fight. So the more the merrier with the claws. Uh, slaver and shell parasite. Magnificent. Okay, we got extra strength from that. Do I echo form? That's 22 damage. I'm not sure I can afford to echo form. Eh. That means it's going away because it's ethereal. And it hit the dude with the block. Okay. He's getting... He's got a debuff. That's what that swirl is. Um... That makes it so that I can't attack next turn, which is probably what he's about to do, which I don't care for. I do not have Echo Form up. Shit. Oh, right. I got the Shuriken, so I can actually make sure. Oh, and Gremlin Horn gave us extra stuff. Excuse me, that gets me all the block I need, so I'm actually just going to dual cast. Cool. Uh, Sunder into Genetic Algorithm. Sounds good. Into Zap, no less. This is what I, like, Genetic Algorithm as your first card choice is just so good. Because it just keeps pace. It just keeps pace with the rest of the run. Melter's pretty good on this idiot, too. Okay, play FTL first, because, uh, yeah. Deal 9 damage if you have played less than 4 cards this turn, draw a card. So, you obviously want to play it first. Go for the eyes, make him weak. Oh, he's dead. He's, like, very dead. Uh, no potion. Ooh. <sighs> Take the claw. 56. Give me the event. Fuck. Well. I had a risk to take, and I took it. Do I just take 6 damage here? I don't know that I want a genetic algorithm right here. Uh, yep. Yep. Just take 6 damage. This is gonna suck. I don't think we're gonna beat this boss. Oh, uh, well, okay. Um, shit, shit, shit. Okay, no. Go for the ice of this guy. Oh, right. Yeah, you know what? Keep him super weak. Then we claw this idiot out of the sky. If you hit him three times, he falls down. Um, he actually takes half damage while he from attacks while he's in the air. Oh, shit. I should have just used the, um, the leap, because he was only doing nine damage. I forgot I weakened him. Um, and now he's taking full damage from attacks, so we can kill him off. Just like that. Uh, hold up. Five times nine does not kill him. So instead we zap. We stack. I want to play as few cards as poss possible because hexes, hexes are a thing. And then we multicast for the rest. Okay, cool, cool. Because we don't need to defend any more than we are. Keeping vulnerable. Vulnerable means we take 50% extra damage from attacks. So, that's not a great debuff for us. Uh, double Claw? I think Double Claw is probably... Mm, no, no, Double Doom and Glue. Claw this bitch. And then, actually, Dual Cast, because he's dead. Cool. Uh, getting no healing. Ooh, all for one, all for one, all for one. Oh, it does grab us our claws. Which lets us shuriken. So, right now our claws are scaling two ways. They're scaling off a shuriken, they're scaling off themselves. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. That might be, that might be the only thing that saves us. Yeah, we're, 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 we've gone hard into the DPS race category. I absolutely have to echo form here. So he summons two idiot goobers who take cards out of our deck until we kill them. Um, and he also just, like, keeps buffing himself times infinity. Okay, playing our claws nice and early. That means we get to all for one them out. All for one is an attack that puts all zero car cost cards in your discard pile into your hand. So having a bunch of zero cost attacks, you know, we just get to grab him and play him again. Um, there's no point in playing anything. He's not hitting me. Let's just take four damage from the lightning. Oh, it's turns like that where I wish I had charge battery. Who I actually. Um, he also has a buff called Artifacts. You'll see it says negate three debuffs. So if I go for the eyes him here, because I have Echo Form up, it'll actually play it twice and two through two of his artifacts. Which is kind of important because he starts hitting for a lot later. 
Yeah, they're doing their debuff thing. They're doing is stealing cards out of my deck. You better not steal all for one before I fucking recycle. I'll be pissed. I think they actually go for your rarest cards. So, yeah, it could be machine learning and multicast. I might be wrong on that. But anyway, we have to do this because to prepare for later in the fight, basically. Sweeping beam. No, oh, there's machine learning. Uh, yeah, play the algorithm now. Okay, and I need to start. Oh, I should have punched that idiot. Yeah. Okay, took the multicast. Fuck! Alright. Well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And then if this kills it, it gives me three energy back. Oh, perfect. Perfect! Let's play the zap. Um. Okay, hold up. I want to do this right. Play the... Doom and Gloom. Play the dual cast. All for one this idiot. No, no, no. All for one this idiot. Ugh. Okay. Perfect. Uh, what does the least damage... He's not attacking, so go for the eyes doesn't actually hit him. So go for the eyes of this guy, which gives us... Oh, Gremlin Horn. I was like, what? How the fuck am I drawing cards? Right. Gremlin Horn. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have played all this stuff. I could have, uh, right, killed him and then used the extra energy to multicast the Lightning Horn. Oh well. Okay, we play the FTL. So that claw makes these claws do more damage. That claw makes these claws do more damage. And so Shuriken, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, you gain one strength. Strength says for every strength you have, all your attacks deal one extra damage. So like this deals two extra damage every time I play it, including the other claws. And every time I play three attacks in a turn, it gets even more damage. So zero mana for 23 damage that keeps going up is pretty good. Might I say pretty good indeed. And then I'm just gonna punch him. Get the passive effects. That'll start charging up nicely. Um, woof. Okay, he's only buffed himself once. Yeah, I want a genetic algorithm for a turn like this. He's doing 24. That was, you know, genetic algorithm was uh, at 22. Oh, right. Echo form. Okay, that's actually pretty reasonable. Yeah, give me sweeping beam. See what we draw. Rip. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, getting all for one on, like, right as soon as you recycle isn't great, since there's, like, nothing to grab. Hmm, forgot about that. Uh, cycle an orb for me. No, I'll, I'll just dual cast this. Yeah, he's, he's toast. Wow, I didn't think we were gonna do this, but our, our zero cost all for one fucking go fast and pummel them with shuriken's plan. Actually worked, at least for this fight. Uh, double echo forms really greedy. Then again, yeah, we're kind of not going very orby anymore. Like we've got some orb stuff, but like this, this is the game plan now, boys and girls. We need upgraded holograms, bad. Do we grab a second echo form? See, the thing is, is if we're up against fucking Time Idiot, double Echo Form could be really bad. I mean, worst case scenario, I just don't play one. We don't have Velvet Choker, so that's no problem. It could also be a pain against Woke Boy. I'm gonna be greedy. Ooh. Ooh. With Runic Pyramid, we can save all for one if we draw it early in our in our cycle. Until after we've played all the stuff, then all for one, then play it all again. So er, Runic Pyramid is you don't discard your hand at any tur end of turn, and then you still draw the five at the start. I do not need the orb slots from Inserter at all. Fusion Hammer is pretty good, can no longer smith at rest sites, and gives us more energy. Five energy is pretty nice, especially with double echo form. More machines with pyramid. I don't know what you mean by more machines. Uh, 
It does guarantee us shuriken procs every time we do the all-for-one trick. But the energy really helps on the turns where we want to play Echo Form, or Sunder for that matter. Or Multicast! Mm. I'm gonna take the Pyramid. Because, oh, okay. We're up against Woke Boy. So we have one, two... Three powers? Although if you echo form an echo, f if you echo form a power, it counts twice. So we could have up to one, two, three, four, five powers. Because if you have two echo forms up, what it actually does is it makes the next, the first two cards you play doubled. Machine learning. Oh. Oh, more machine. I see what you're saying. It also lets us hold on to genetic algorithm. If we need to. Um, we might actually be drawing too many cards with that. Oh shit, you know what the downside is? Is if I've already got a ton of cards in hand, then all for one is not going to put most of the zero cost cards back in her hand. Ugh. I didn't think about that. Rip. Uh, we should be fine. Okay, what elites are causing us problems? I think we can handle Big Head. It's gonna be those double orbs that's really gonna fuck us. Nemesis Boy could also be a bit of a problem. Because we don't get to choose which turns. Oh no, we have the Runic Pyramid! Never mind, Nemesis Boy's easy. We just play our attacks when he's vulnerable. Not vulnerable as the game mechanic vulnerable, but when he's not intangible. So all these paths have two elites. That's the only path that gives me a chance at three elites. Bail out there. There's more fires if I go that way. Bounce here and then decide how I'm feeling and then see how it goes and then. Yeah, okay. Thorn Boys, so they deal damage every time. Wow! Wow! I'm going to Sunder because it kills him, which gives me the only three energy back. I actually get extra energy because of the Gremlin Horn. I would love to drink a potion, but... Oh, because I took a swig of the, the water, I guess. So the problem with this, this zero-cost plan is they deal four damage to me every time I hit them. So, like, a bunch of small attacks ends up killing me. I could hit one of them... And I guess Claw is the better thing to hit them with. The good news is the Lightning Orbs, you know, they don't interact. And yeah, they buff, they buff their pointiness. Um, wow, fuck. Right, Runic Pyramid. I can't get rid of cards so well. Play the Zap, play the Stack. Dual cast. I'm actually just dual casting just to get it out of my hand. All lightning all day. Yeah. Okay, they're not hitting me. Shit. Problem with uh, Gloom and Doom is it hits both of them, which means I need 12 block to play it. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, right. Gets played twice. Um, okay, so I can actually do this. Good. Yeah, they just they just keep buffing forever. I'm probably not gonna get the chance to play this later. Yeah, double buff it, why not? Um, I am going to multi cat Wait. Oh, I was like, how do I have 50 block? Okay, uh, I can actually start hitting dudes now. In that case... Cause that's a lot of block. That's a lot of block. Just multicast him to death. Thanks, genetic algorithm! Second Sunder. Streamline can go down to zero if I play it twice. Echo form. Hmm. 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 
Oh, okay, we have to give up a card. I don't know if that'll reduce it twice. Because like I said, it doesn't work with Rampage. But it does seem to work with Genetic Algorithm. It does work with Streamline. That's good to know. This is rough. I only have the one machine learning. I only have the one go for the eyes, and that's- I'm actually gonna get rid of the machine learning here. It also makes it slightly better against Woke Boy. There goes, like, all of our card draw. I guess all for one is kind of card draw. Okay, thank god I can actually do stuff here. Okay, go for the eyes. Zap his ass. Okay, this is gonna hurt for sure. Oh, if I sweep in beams, I could've ripped. Double echo form for triple echo. Ugh. I feel like that would be unwise. No, give me a double defense, so I only take four damage. One echo form should be enough. Rip, Jeanette. Oh, never mind. Don't rip because it doesn't leave the thing. Maybe I should upgrade those so that the. Hey, two Sunders kills them. Turns out I didn't need that echo form at all. Rip focus potion. Give me another claw. The more claws, every claw you have makes every other claw better. I don't think I can take two elites in a row without a rest, so I'm gonna have to go this way. This asshole explodes in three turns. These assholes just keep putting dazes in my deck. Uh, FTL first. Hit this idiot. Uh, why are they both hitting me for 11? Okay, Echo Form, Leap. Can I kill one? That would be cool. I can't. Well, this is gonna hurt. <sighs> Shit. Hold up. Right. Right. Uh, kill this idiot then? Cool. Hmm, all for one. What does that grab me? Four cards? I can actually do it. Blarp. Oh, shit. No, I only grabbed three because Gremlin Horn drew me a fucking card. Damn it. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Hey, free zap. Yeah, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Cool. Man, if I could get, like, a self-repair... I mean, it's probably too late for self-repair. Shit, should have gotten rid of go for the eyes. Now I have another go for the eyes. I think we're starting to hit like a critical mass of zero cost stuff. We really need card draw. The whole thing just froze. Ooh, ornamental fan would actually be great. It's probably too late for cool head for uh, self repair. Cool headed is not the card draw I'm looking for. It's a little late for that membership card, my dude. I think we're going to another shop. Yeah. So I think I just saved my money. Can't buy any potions anyway. Rip. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Hold up, I know why it's lagging. Because I did not close Chrome or Discord before starting the stream. Like a fool. I remember last time I did this, instead of closing Skype, I accidentally closed Slay the Spire because they're right next to each other in uh, Windows Task Manager. <laughs> there we go. Aww. I could have gotten that mask too had I fought those idiots. Rip. Then we would have got gold. Rip, rip, rip. Oh well. Uh, let's fight. Okay, Nemesis Man, Nemesis Man. I should be able to deal with Nemesis Man. Okay, weakening is good. Do I gain the five block or do I increase the shuriken? No, I'll just I'll just block. Uh, he's still weak, which is a bit of a scary thought. Uh, sweeping beam to draw two cards. Oh, maybe I should have double defended. 
Probably should have double defended. Rip. And I actually want to punch him. Wait, why didn't I play stack? God damn it. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Ah, <sighs> missed that block card. Okay, well, now we just make it more powerful. No problem. No, I actually... Eh, double zap works, I guess. Okay, so we go for the ice here for sure. Claw. 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 So stack gets me enough block by itself. So I think we stack and sunder. Perfect. Meaning, if we were paying attention, I could have sundered first and done double damage. He's not hitting me, so... Double echo form! Gross. So hold up. So those count as the first and second. So does this... Will it actually double this one now? Because I have the buff. Like, you don't get a doubled card on the first turn you play echo form. Because echo form itself counts as the first card you played that turn. But now the first three cards we play get doubled. And we've only played two... Aha, uh -huh, it does. I did that just to get it out of my hand, basically. Alright, so if he's hitting us for, you know, a not nice amount, I can just... Uh, is this lethal? That is... what is that? That's 8 times 9, that's 72 damage? Yeah. Yeah, it's lethal. I should have genetic algorithmed first. Oh well. It actually matters. The woke boy can actually hit us for, like, upwards of, like, 50 or 60 damage. So having a genetic algorithm that can actually block it all is kind of... Double Hyper Diaper Beam. I don't think I want any of these cards. I need card draw. I need some good block stuff. And I need more zero cost stuff. And more energy. Um, it's like I can hold on to aggregates. And I can hold on to cards, which makes Turbo better. Gold Bladed Cables is reasonable. Nap again. Because holding on to cards means you can just use Turbo on the turn when you have a bunch of cards. And then... Voids are ethereal, right? It won't just, like, stay in my hand forever. I don't think it will. Well, rip double Echo. FTL first. Um... Do I actually just play the regular defend out of my hand? I think I do. And the echo form goes away. Yeah, we gotta actually manage, like, how much is... Oh, right, bag of marbles. I was like, why was he vulnerable? Rip. Uh, that is 30 damage. I'm gonna double leap. And we're frail. My favorite status effect. Okay, so claw here. Oh, if I double claw, that would've doubled the effectiveness of claw and worked with the shuriken. 15. Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, play all the block cards. Cool. This is doubling now because of the uh, gold-plated cables. Triggers are rightmost orb twice. Um... Could double Sunday. If I weaken him, he does, what? Three times two? Nah, we're only blocking fucking... Crap. Alright, fine. Yeah. Um... Do I want to get rid of more cards, or do I want to just play the Sunder? I can do this now. Yeah, plus it does that. Yeah, this way we've got two attacks, we've, we're more likely to be able to make sure it can happen. Okay, good, he's buffing. <sighs> Hold up. Sweeping Beam. Please be Double Claw. Yes! Okay. Need to get that out of my hands. Alright, the bad news is we're not gonna get everything back. But we got a lot of it back, and we're gonna... You know, get shuriken bonus again. Okay, that was pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. He's down to 110. Uh, all for one's useless here. What do I get out of that? It's like, what was that, 9 times 8? So like 72? Okay. 
Um, double streamline? Then what? He's doing 18, he'll go down to 12. I do not have great block cards in this deck. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, it's a uh, leap, stack, genetic algorithm, and four defends. Fuck. We haven't seen that other shop yet, have we? Okay, I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna just hope and pray that I've got some some decent block. Have I echo formed? Have I played any cards this turn? I don't think I have. I don't know that I want a genetic algorithm. Times two. It seems. Cause he can hit for more damage than this for sure. Give me a double block, actually, and then that block, and then... Oh, he's already weak. Rip. Yeah, I need to get this streamline, like, out and cheap. I should probably just play this multicast so it's just not in my hand. Here we go. Spell zap, FTL, draws me more cards, claw. Now I'm gonna genetic algorithm. Whoops, no 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 no. So I think he might yeah, he's actually just dead. Hologram is a block card that does other cool stuff. So the great thing with hologram is I had this before where um I don't remember how I or no, I think I had ice cream, so I saved up a whole bunch of energy. Ice cream lets you carry energy over in between turns. So if you don't use it all you get to keep it. I ran a deck with four all for ones, a whole bunch of zero cost stuff, and just a bajillion hologram pluses, and like secret technique and other stuff that let me search out cards in my deck. So I basically play my zero cost cards, play all for one, hologram out all for one, play all my zero cost cards, all for one, hologram out all for one, and just, just go nuts. I think I had like six upgraded to holograms, it was absurd. It's like, I, I usually went off and killed people on turn one. Wow. Really bad time to get frozen egging. So these are the other two eggs that make everything we grab. If you get all three eggs, then everything you grab is automatically upgraded. Rune of the Decahedron's not great for us right now. If your HP is full, gain an extra energy at the start of each turn. I did say we want Turbo. Turbo lets us do stuff. No good block cards. It's a little late for bandage up, bandage up to be useful. I can probably get some use out of Panache, though. I'm not taking Meteor Plus. I'm not taking Meteor Plus. Uh, do I have any more events? Only if I fight that elite. What, what relic could possibly save us? Like, Mango would be good, plus 14 health, just straight up, and then Nap. What else could we possibly get from that Elite that will actually make a difference? I need the Bottle... We already saw Bottled Flame, so it would have to be Bottled Lightning. I don't think that matters a lot. No, I think... Uh, the regular fight's gonna be kind of tough, too. What was our last elite? What was our only elite so far? It was Intangible Boy, right? That means this is either Big Head or Double Orbs. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be Potion Belt. I don't think Potion Belt will help us at all. Yeah, we could get some real stinkers. I don't have any Frost, so Capacitor isn't even that good. So I definitely grab the Turbo. The only reason I'm not automatically taking the Panache is because it's Woke Boy. And if I play the Panache, it gets tougher. Like, it gets stronger. And I'm already at risk of, like, doing Triple Echo Form. I don't have Machine Learning anymore. If we get Triple Echo Form up, though, I think we win. So long as our hand does not become Absolute Trash Master. As much as I hate these fucking defense, remove a regular strike. God, I wanted just like just a good block card up here, but no. Well, I can't take Panache now, so uh, no, no. This is the last chop. I should no capacitor is a power. I don't want that. Do I take bandage up for the twelve health? 
Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Yeah, we're going this way, because I want to see more cards, too. Like, we could get a really good event. We could get the event that's like, you know, either gain a bunch of gold or upgrade all your cards or, like, fight a boss. At least feed Sozu? No. I'm not feeding the Sozu. I refuse. Okay, no attacks coming in. Echo form. Rip echo form. Uh, zap for free. Uh, sweeping beam since it hits everybody and everyone's vulnerable. Both the eyes does not weaken anybody, so maybe I should actually hold on to it. Yeah, we're not triggering shuriken anyway. Yeah, okay. Could save it for echo form. Save what for echo form? Oh, the bandage? Oh! That's a good point. And look at what we got. Okay, yeah. No, that's actually pretty good. Didn't even think about that. Uh, so he will frail us, which makes us, like, block for 25 less. Which rounds the block number down. So, like, that goes from 5 block to 3 block, which is, like, a 40% drop. Which is pretty rough. He also has artifacts on him, so, like, go for the eyes isn't gonna do much. Um, if I don't genetic algorithm, I'm just taking damn. Oh, hold up. Let me FTL. Rip. Claw. Claw. Hold up. What can I hologram? Not a lot. I can block almost all of it, though. Um. Grab the claw, I guess. Does even more damage. Play the other defense. Kill him and hit the shuriken. And, well, I guess get rid of a daze. And a dual cast. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, the frail is gonna suck because I have no source of non block card block. Okay, there's only one claw left in the deck. Oh, shit. Oh, that's how I did it. That's how I did it with all for one. I also had a bunch of turbos in the deck. So the all for one would grab me back the turbos and a couple zero cost card draw cards like Flash of Steel and um, there's another one. It's like Thinking Ahead and like there's, there's another. There's another one. It's like re Reprogram and like Seek and other baloney like that. Although you can't. Yeah, unless you didn't play Seek, you can't grab it back out of the discard. So yeah, I'd like all for one turbo, gain a bunch of energy back. Didn't I already play a card this turn? I can't genetic algorithm times two here. Or did I already play? Okay, yeah, no. Okay, I'm actually gonna genetic algorithm once here. He's actually just dead. I probably should have doubled. Reprogram. No, 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 no. Hologram plus. Hologram plus. Hologram plus. We can actually do it now. Like, the problem is we have to get the turbo and a couple zero cost cards in the discard before, like, we recycle. Like, if the if if there's like three cards left in deck and one of those is the turbo, then and we can't draw, then we're just like, buh. But otherwise. And we can hold on to the holograms, too. So we can, like, get play the zero-cost stuff, all for one. Play the zero-cost stuff, including turbo- Oh, shit, it costs three energy to hologram and all for one. Well, okay, if we if we do it at the start, we can, we can make it happen. I'm going to Sunder first, since that kills an idiot. Oh, actually kills any idiot I want, because they're vulnerable. Yeah, kill the exploding guy. And I get an extra energy out of it. Echo form. I don't need to blah. Oh, well, if I Doom and Gloom, these guys deal 8 damage to me. Crap. Crap, crap. Zap. Claw. Claw. <sighs> if I all for one, the claws aren't really super useful. Claw, claw, all double claw. There's no point in blocking, because then I don't have enough energy for anything. Though, it does get the defend out of my hand. Yeah, let's do that. 
Excuse me. You're hitting me for nine. If I multicast... No, that won't work. Go for the eyes on him, I guess. I'll save that. Leap. And then multicast. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Uh, double bandage up. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, there's an echo form here. Um, I need to block cards. And then I just pass. Yeah, luckily there's no thorns in the, the boss fight. So like, to, to do Sweeping Beam or Doom and Gloom, I take 16 damage. Give me the double hologram. Give me Zap. Oh, fuck. My hand's full. Damn it! Damn it! I wanted to zap and then multicast. Shit. Well, uh, whatever. Dual cast it. Aha! Um, hold up. That's doing... How much damage? That's doing 9 damage. So if I multicast, it actually won't kill. So just grab me another zap then. In turn... Yeah, he'll, he'll just die. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Because I'm doing an extra lightning orb because of the gold plated uh, cables. Fire potion. Uh, Leap Plus is pretty decent. I would like another turbo. Well, looks like we're not getting it. I'm only down by 11 health. If round one you echo form, then round two, first turn echo form. Yes, it is three echo forms. But we have to be careful because the boss we're fighting gets more powerful every power we play. He gets two strength, and he likes some multi-attack, like times four multi-attack. So every power we play, like, increases the damage of that attack by eight. So, and doubling echo form counts, but we only have three powers left in our deck now. Because of uh, getting rid of the machine learning. We got an extra good block card. We only got the one turbo. We have eight more healing from bandage up. Um... Upgrade the turbo. Hold up. Why won't it show me which echo form is the one with the... The, the bottle. The one in the bottle. Because I want to upgrade the one that's not in my opening hand. To guarantee that I get it. I think it's that one. It should be the second one, right? Because it's the first one here. It should really show that in the upgrade screen. So I upgrade this one. It gets rid of the ethereal, which means if I don't play it, it does not go away. Yes, but I only have one fight left, and I don't care that much. So these guys keep getting... Oh, okay. Yeah, he hits for 22 on turn 1. That's just fucking PG. Yeah. He gets extra strength. I need to kill these guys ASAP, so I'm actually just going to take the damage here. I think I'm going to save that Echo Form, though. Double the bandage. Just take the 8. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good genetic algorithm. I probably should have FTL'd first, okay. Uh, do I weaken him? Or do I try and make sure these guys die? No, I, I want you to do less. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter, I got enough block anyway, shit. Okay, play the turbo. Play the doom and gloom. Nice, and we got the shuriken. What can I hologram? I can hologram the claw back out. Or I could echo form. I get to keep the hologram. You know what? I'm gonna echo form here. Uh, I think that's enough block. Okay, the front man's almost dead. Okay, cool. That was more than enough block. Problem is now he's doing that. You know that would have been four times four. Well, actually, it, 
it maps out differently because of the weakness and yeah he's still weak so I don't need to do that to him so this claw kills you oh shit rip double claw rip 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 oh right Wait, did that double the first- that doubled the first three- or did it not count the second claw from the first claw? What's happening? Uh, I save the holograms for all for one. I think- I've got six energy. You know what I do? Oh, I need to block. I need to block damage. There are no block cards in my discard. Leap, boy, leap! Hologram out that leap and then leap boy leap. So that's what 28 damage. I'm actually willing to take five here to do a Bunch of damage up front with this and then I get to rotate the darkness orb up He also like heals 10 at the start of each turn, which is obnoxious as fuck Shit I need to get cards out of my hand Right should have doubled that streamline I keep forgetting that's the thing that happened. Oh, I can still double that streamline. Shit, I should have double hologrammed? That way I could have double turboed. I can still double hologram here. Shit, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Give me turbo. Give me go for the eyes. And go for the eyes. Then turbo. How many zero cost cards are in my discard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shit. Uh Okay. All for one. Uh, do I dual cast for? Oh wait, no, no, yeah. If I dual cast here, perfect. That'll get me exactly eight cards. Where the fuck's the turbo? Wait, did I miscount? Uh, turbo. Oh, I need the turbo to play the streamline. Oh, oh. Okay, fine. Uh, just like go completely fucking ham, I guess. By like making all the claws do more damage and more damage and more damage. Okay, I take it back. That was a pretty decent turn. <laughs> uh, he has two forms. As soon as you kill him here, he actually swaps forms. Um, I'm gonna get my energy back if I. Okay, give me the double streamline just so it costs zero now. What do I want to get out of my hand? It's regular defense. That was a leap. God fucking damn it. You'd think I could point at cards and click on them. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good... Yeah, give me the double turbo. Double turbo. If you can wait until he's in his second form before playing any powers, he actually does not gain strength from your powers in his second form. So depending on the type of deck you got, you know, you, you have that option available. Um, no, I want to keep the hologram. Double FTL draws me too many cards. Double multicast does... Hold up, hold up. That's 16 times 9. That's 90 plus 54. It's 144 damage? It does me... Oh, he's dealing exactly lethal. He's dealing exact- yeah, I, I know it's right, right as you said it there, Harley. He is dealing exactly lethal. Uh, is there a leap in here? Uh, give me that leap. Give me that turbo. And then leap, boy, leap! Turbo again. I didn't want to use that hologram, but ugh. Um... Do all this, make ourselves stronger. The regular defend. Play the stack. Okay, that's pretty good. Play the sunder. Multicast. Okay, okay, good. We burn through a lot of the cards in our hand. We only take two damage. 
which is not bad at all. Uh, weaken the boy. In fact, keep him weak for four turns. Yeah, I like that. I need to block. God. Ah, he's only dealing 16 damage. Um... Party wants to hologram just to grab that claw back. No, we're at most two turns away from an all for one. That double void is gonna be a pain in the ass though. Okay, we should have this. Uh, yeah. Shit. Hold up, I'm gonna do this a smart way. I'm gonna grab the turbo first. Hold up. I'm gonna do this the smartest way. Cause this way I have guaranteed lethal. Nice. And there's the heart of the spire. Also, you say wolf boy. I think he's actually some sort of weird bird god. Cause there are a whole bunch of bird cultists and they seem to worship him. You can get the dagger in his chest from an event that has the, the bird boys. You charge your core to its maximum! The damage we deal is actually our score, and your score is dependent on like what relics, how many relics you got, uh, how many fights you perfected, or how many bosses you perfected, as in like took no damage in, um, how many cards were upgraded, etc, etc, etc. That's the total amount of damage I have dealt to the heart. That's the total amount of damage done to the heart by all players on live. So it doesn't count damage done in the beta branch. And we've just ascended. We just unlocked another ascension. Ascension level 8. So we're about halfway up to ascension 15. For... Oh god. Oh god, I'm getting the windows circular ring of death. The, 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 the shock room of loading. Uh, so this would make elites tougher? Yeah, elites are tougher. Ascension 11 has been a pretty rough wall for both the Silent and the Ironclad, so we'll see. And the the characters are also basically kind of kind of designed, and really they are effectively like easy, medium, hard mode. Ironclad's like so easy to play compared to Defect. You can just manhandle the fucking game. Like, I part of me wants to go back to Ironclad after after I beat Ascension 15 and just like see how fast I can just like slap the shit out of it, especially if you're not playing. I'm not sure it's- if I'm not, like, absurdly tired or, like, like, brain-addled out of my mind somehow, I don't think I can lose a run with Ironclad on, like, regular non-ascension mode. I, like, I, I think I just take the cake at that point. Anyway, thanks for joining me tonight. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow me both here on Twitch, as well as the various social media and video hosting platforms I hate late. I have linked down below the video feed. Um, I post everything that I stream to both YouTube and BitChute, and I announce when I'm going live here on Twitch and when a new video goes live on all the various social media listed down below. I've got my schedule down below. Uh, we're not doing anything special until the Friday stream, so that's Friday morning technically. Most people would think of it as Thursday night, but it's 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Um, and then we're gonna be picking up a Resident Evil 4, and then next Sunday, if I'm not doing another race, uh, we're gonna be continuing Hollow Knight. But we'll see. We might be doing another A Link to the Past race with Nick. We'll see. I wanna try to do an I Wanna Be the Guy race. I think I can convince, um, Siege, who's the guy I raced, uh, Pepsi Man with. I think I can probably convince him, because I'm pretty sure he's beaten the game. And I'd wanna race someone who else who's already beaten the game before. Um, because it's not- I've beaten it twice, and it would not be fair against someone who's never beaten the game, because that game is rough. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and have a good night.